What's going on guys? Today's video is going to be about how to get this weapon, which is Hystrix's RPD, which is an amazing weapon. It's a stalker level weapon, so it's blue text, and it's got some pretty good stuff on it already as far as modifications. And this is a really good PVE weapon once you get it. These are the stats. I'll scroll through them here. You can pause it if you want to. But this thing is amazing, so I would definitely recommend getting this the quest line has the option of getting a different weapon which is another rpd but this one is far superior to it i would not recommend choosing different options than i do because i'm going for this one i have a feeling if you go for the other one you're going to regret it once you see it i will put a screenshot of the stats on the other one up probably alongside this one so that you can see the difference then you can make your own choice as to which one you want. But if we're being honest, I would definitely say go for the Hystrix's RPD. So with that being said, let's get into the video and I will show you step-by-step step where to go to get it and how to get the quest done. Welcome back folks. Today we're going to be starting up a quest from Captain in the bar. This is going to lead eventually to one of two different RPDs and the way that I'm going to be going is the best of the two, and it's actually a really good gun, so I would suggest going with the option I choose, but you are more than welcome to do the other way around if you want to see what that is. So for the captain, he's going to give you a quest called Souls of the Dead, which, fair warning, this is going to take you into the forest, which is a stalker-heavy zone because it's one of their zones, and you have to be there at a certain time of day. You have to go there at midnight. I, th I think any time past 2400. It may be 2300, but to be safe, because I don't remember exactly, we are going at 2400 because I need to be able to run in there, talk to this guy in the middle of a lake, and as soon as I can talk to him, I'm protected. You you can't be killed while you're in the conversation. But what has happened so far on my other bandit, when I went and talked to the guy, as soon as I got out of the conversation, there were like four stalkers just staring at me ADS. And as soon as I moved, I was dead. I highly suggest not taking anything you don't want to lose. Head that way at 2400 with just the bare minimum ammo med kits and things like that. Because it is going to be terrible, most likely, trying to get to this quest. It is 0 hundred midnight. We are in the dump and we have to make it to the swamp over here without dying in stalker territory. I'm full sending. And here's the guy in the middle of this pond. I can't really show you where because I'm protected now, but I can't really like open the map. So this is Firebrand. We're going to be talking to him to get through his conversation. He gives us the quest, the North Wind. And you also get an incredible story and the gig looking for evidence. And now you run. Got to go back to Captain for one of them, the incredible story. For the gig, we have to find evidence of the, his brother Splinter because people are telling him he doesn't exist. And for North Wind, we have to learn how to get into the radar tower. Okay, well, <laughs> we're back at the bar. Mission accomplished. I might try to go get my stuff here in a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and talk to Captain now. Captain is for an incredible story. So let's talk to him. Hello again. Not exactly. I'll see where I can find it. Now you get a quest called the Gig Hystrix. And you also get a quest called the Gig Gear. So for the Gig Gear, you need to talk to the bartender here, who's right behind you. I'm here on business. I have some questions. Can you answer them? I need your help. Do you, do you keep track of what you sold and how many? I need to know how many supplies Hystrix bought. Now, you have to pay him 2,000 rubles. You're kind of bribing him here. I could be your friend too. Bribe him. He picks the money up off the table. Did the group take any special goods? And he tells you that they took rope. So that completes the gig gear. Now, for the gig Hystrix, he's going to be up top, bottom southeast corner of the map. But he's going to be upstairs. So we're going to go this way. Hang on left. I'm going to go in this door here. Hang on left. Hang another left, and he's at the table right here. Hi, Hystrix. I found your partner, Firebrand. I'm interested to hear your version of the trip to the radar. You ask him, why does Firebrand remember his brother? Then you ask him if he can provide any proof that Splinter never existed. So that completes the gig Hystrix, and now you get the gig Questioning Locals. And to question the locals, you go back to the actual bar area, and there's going to be three people that you can talk to, 
and then you can talk to the bartender. So we're going to start with this guy up here near the mailman. Do you know Firebrand? I know him well. Why? What have you heard about his brother who goes by Splinter? Never talked about his brother. All right. Ask the guy sitting across from the captain. Do you know Firebrand? He's hammered. He doesn't say anything. And then the final guy is over here. Have you heard of Splinter and his brother Firebrand? He says he thinks he knows somebody called Splinter in the dump. So now you get the quest, the gig bartender and the gig Splinter from the dump. So you turn right around, talk to the bartender here, ask him about Splinter. Listen, I'm here on business, have questions. Do you remember Splinter? He's Firebrand's brother. He asked, does he have a brother? And that completes the gig bartender. So now we have the gig Splinter from the dump and the gig looking for evidence. For Splinter from the dump, we talk to Captain again, who's sitting right here. You ask him, can you find him through his PDA? He says he knows a guy that can do that. Gives you the quest, the gig, getting info about the PDA. We have to pay the guy 2,000 rubles to crack the PDA. Now you get the gig twin brothers, and it completes the gig getting info about the PDA and the gig splinter from the dump. So now for the gig twin brothers, there's two waypoints in the dump that you have to go to. And for as, as for the other quest, the looking for evidence, that one is just going to be finished by completing this quest. Now, since the dump is quite a far ways away, I'm going to see you guys when we get there. And first, I'm going to swing back by and see if by some miracle, my bag is still in the forest or if somebody's looted it. So I will see you guys shortly. So we are in the dump for the first waypoint for the gig twin brothers here. It's going to be just southwest of the dump where it says it there. And it's up top on this hill. And it's in here. And here is Splinter's corpse. A newbie's masticated corpse. Apparently the poor guy was killed by dogs. Find the PDA. Screen's cracked. Yada, yada, yada. He really was called Splinter, but there's no records regarding the radar. Just another newbie looking for happiness in the zone. So rest in peace, sir. Now we are heading all the way to the second waypoint. Second waypoint's going to be way over here. Northeast-ish in the town. And it's going to be this gentleman right here named Splinter. So I'm wet behind the ears, newbie. Hey, do you go by Splinter? Relax, I'm just looking for a guy. You don't seem like him. And he's not the right guy. So that completes the gig looking for evidence and the gig twin brothers. So now we have the gig evidence against, which we have to go back to Firebrand in the middle of the damn swamp where stalkers are. So let's um, trudge our own green mile here. There was a stalker right there. All right, now north wind's complete. Radar transport tunnels received, and the gig evidence against is complete. And also the gig underground has now been received, so you just got two quests. Now I'm just running for my life into stalkers it seems okay so find the path to the radar in the tunnel find evidence in the tunnel and the fun part is this makes it amazing this quest is in the graveyard which is another stalker only zone <laughs> so we have to get all the way up to here but before we head up there we need to prepare uh, i need to put away some things and pick up some things so i will meet you guys at the bar here in a second and we will get stocked up and ready to go before you go and do the gig underground, I highly suggest you come back to the bar and empty out everything you don't want to lose. I'm only going to take some med kits and stuff. I'm mostly taking pouches. And if you still have them, take the two grenade boxes that have a total of 20 grenades that you get for starting the game. They're bound to you, so you can't drop them. Those are going to come in real handy later. If you don't have those grenade boxes anymore, just take about 20 grenades. Post-production Matthew here. I went back and counted while I was editing this video how many grenades it actually took, and it ended up taking 25. If you do have both of the boxes that are bound to you from starting the game, they contain a total of 40. So if you have both those there, you're good to go. Otherwise, you need to take at least probably 30. But like I said, just don't take anything you want to lose. Come back, empty everything out, take the bare minimum of droppable items, 
if you have the daily reward login for the injectors and things like that, go ahead and take that because it might be helpful. But then we have to make the long journey. Honestly, I think I'm going to give it a go by going to the bar army warehouse teleport here. We're going to go north and I'm going to try to shoot all the way east and see if I can make it over to here. So we're at the graveyard. So we're going to hop in here and hope for the best. I'm going to see if there's a way to skirt around and not go through bio areas. We're going to try going to north side. Pretty sure that's a bio area. So I'm running north and then through this little cave. Came the north side down through here. We're going to try to go around this outside area. Straight all the way to this wall and then hanging a right. Right here. Whoop. And then we got to go hug this wall. Straight to the left, watch out for anomalies. And then around this next corner to the left is going to be where we need to go. So we're hopping in here before we die to a stalker. Oh God, there's an anomaly right there. It's going to be right here to the left. All the way over here. I can't stay too long because I do not want to die after running all this way. Home safe for a minute because now there's not going to be any more PVP. Once you make it this far, it's all NPCs. Go ahead and loot up if you want to. There's usually not much in here, I've noticed. Now you can interact with the food leftovers here. You notice trash left behind from the camp. Investigate the trash. It's unlikely two people could have eaten so much. If you have a longer to mid-range weapon, go ahead and pull it out now. Because you can shoot some of these enemies before you drop down. I would recommend doing that. Because there's zombies directly below you. And if you drop down... Oh no, there's bio-infection too right there. But if you drop down, you're immediately going to be in combat. And hope that it's not all down here. Okay. It's not a whole place. It's just right there. So eliminate the zombies first, drop down, move forward, get the fuck out of the bio too. If you do not have the bio infection of 200, at least on your suit, there's going to be snorks up around the corner over there. Also, if you don't have 200 rad protection on your suit, don't get in the water. Water is 200 rad. You should be able to skirt past that one if you just hug the wall as tight as humanly possible there's going to be snorks right here a lot of the times they get stuck in this pit
there's a pit right there and they walk into it quite a lot oh he jumped out oh he went right back in he don't know what he wants to do all right snorks are dead check for anomalies there's gonna be a black hole right there can i drop down here and we're good right here anomalies there by the way, you need at least 100 Psi resistance in here too on your suit, which mine just happens to have 140. So we're going to move forward slowly, missing that. Now what you want to do is jump on the front of this here and climb up. And then you're going to jump on the front of this. Inch up here. This whole area, black hole. Do not go up there. What we want to do is, now you're going to get your grenades out. We're going to yeet one grenade just straight down into the middle here. That should activate the little bloodsucker slash boss down there. Now what we're going to do is get some more grenades. That was one, so two, four, six, eight. This is ten grenades. Eleven total. And what you want to do is throw it, but aim at that little spot right there where this darker beam meets this beam. You want to aim and hit right there because what that does is it bounces the grenade in there and it just hits those two and drops straight down. And just keep putting more grenades on, throwing. And you do this until a big teleporter bubble shows up in front of you right there hovering in the air. Okay, so, for, oops. so far we've thrown 13, 14, 15. I don't want to waste them, so I'm going to wait and see what happens here. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Still no bubble. 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, 25 was a magic number. I threw an extra one before that one popped. It may take you a few more. It may take you a few less. It really all depends on where the bloodsucker is running down there. If he's running directly in the middle a lot, it may take you less than 25, but it also may take you more. But that's why I told you to bring those two crates if you had them, because then you don't lose all your grenades if you die. And it took me 25. So here's another tricky part. What you're going to want to do is we have to inch up here now, now that the boss is dead. You have to jump through this black hole. So you want to back up as far as you can and sprint jump and just keep pushing as hard as you can to get through there. The reason I cheesed him is because once you get down here, you're fighting a bloodsucker that you can't get away from. He's just in a pit. Now, if you actually want to kill him the legit way, bring a shotgun, a ton of meds, but just know if you die in here, it doesn't start you back at the start of this thing. You start all the way back at the bar. So if you really want to do it legit, that's how you do it legit. If you want to cheese it, that's how you cheese it. Now that we're down here, we have to find evidence for the gig, which the corpse right here is the evidence. You find a dead man mutants have gnawed away at him. Could be Splinter, doesn't have a backpack. Maybe worth looking in the vicinity. Now to get into this bubble here, if you look, all of these are trampolines and they're facing that way. So all you do, Climb up as high as you can, jump, boom, throws you in there. Teleports you to the next zone. 
can't get past this cave-in tunnel may have once led to radar but i'll never know the zone is keeping it secret so in here don't go this way that's teleport you go in here and teleport you're gonna hate yourself go to the left all the way to the back large backpack on the corner you found the backpack besides all the junk one item catches your attention rope so that finishes the gig underground and now you have the gig finale so let's get to the bottom of things which means you can go to firebrand now or you can go to hystrix go to hystrix don't go to firebrand first and when you take this teleport it's going to teleport you out of here so be ready for that teleports you out you are now way over here in the pit so we're just heading back to the bar so we're back at the bar and we're heading over to talk to hystrix which again is bottom southeast corner upstairs once you talk to hystrix again you're going to tell him that you found evidence that splinter really did exist and he asks you if you're going to tell firebrand and now he says he's going to tell us what really happened and essentially splinter went crazy he tried to shoot hystrix and hystrix shot him they essentially gaslit firebrand into thinking his brother never existed because the anomaly had messed with his head hystrix had everybody in the bar play along and he's telling you now that if you lie to firebrand and tell him his brother never existed he'll give you his gun you tell him you think about it so after that's done you can go back to the forest talk to firebrand again and tell him that his brother never existed or if you want to be the good guy you can tell him that he did exist but you're going to get the worst of the two guns so it's up to you and I will be taking the safer of the routes, so I will see you guys shortly. All right, so we're back over to the forest entrance from the dump, and it's suicide run time. Somebody's shooting over there. Talking to him. Went through the tunnel. Splinter never existed. Second one. It's fine. Hystrix will settle up with me. And glad I could help. I'm going to go see Hystrix. And dip the fuck out. Time to run. All right. I'll see you guys at the bar talking to Hystrix. Okie dokie. We have made the long and perilous journey back to the bar. We are at Hystrix getting ready to turn in this quest. I was able to convince Firebrand there was never had never been a splinter. And that completes the gig two friends. And you get another quest called the souls of the dead, the end where you need to go back and talk to captain, but you also get three satchels of armor piercing ammo for the seven, six, two, two scientific med kit satchels, 750 units for repair and 15,000 rubles. And the thing that you really wanted was the Hystrix RPD. This gun is amazing for PVE content, for melting bosses and things like that. Because like all LMGs, it has the damage modifier for every hit on the target. It deals 1% damage to a maximum of 30%. It resets after three seconds and each new hit on the same target refreshes the timer. As long as you're melting something, just landing your shot, the damage ramps up on this thing and it is amazing. On top of that, it already has some of the best modifications on it. It's got the purple Kalimeter sight, a purple laser that really doesn't matter it's got the whirlwind mbc muzzle brake uh the purple tactical handguard the purple grip and i think the stock is just yeah the stock is just whatever it is that is gonna do it all right so let's go talk to captain to end the souls of the dead quest here tell the story you tell him the story of that the the radar tunnel is collapsed and he says that's a hell of a story but stalkers are smart they'll find a way through and you tell him you never saw firebrand and that completes that quest and this whole quest line. So if this video helped you, go ahead and drop a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, if there's something else you want to see, drop a comment down below. Let me know what it is. And I will catch you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one. You know, take it easy.